cheaper and better, buy this, not that, whatever you call it, we all love a really good dupes video. And that's what I'm going to be bringing you today. I went back through some of my older dupes videos, which is cheaper and better, and I will link that playlist below. And I found some really good items in there that I think I need to update you about because we have so many new followers here. So forgive me if you've heard of these before, if I've shown them to you before, but I really want to start bringing you the very best of what cheaper and better is, almost like greatest hits. And I do want to start out by telling you that my dear friend, Everyday Heidi on YouTube here came up with the title Cheaper and Better. I did a collab with her where we did Cheaper and Better together. So she was genius in coming up with that title where drugstore does it better than high end. And I believe that wholeheartedly. You guys know that my channel is all about finding affordable things that we can use and are just as beautiful as the high-end products. So we're gonna get into that right now. So the first high-end product that I absolutely love is the NARS Radiant Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. Now, this gives such good coverage, but at the same time, it lets your face feel like skin and you have it on all day long and it just, it perfects my aging skin and I really do like it. But at $49, it can get a bit pricey to continue to repurchase. But last month I did a video all about my top 10 drugstore finds that I liked. You guys recommended in that video a, a foundation that I have been in love with ever since and I wish I had known about it before that video, but, but here it is in walks number seven, Lift and Luminate Triple Action Serum Foundation. I love this and I feel like these two foundations are almost identical. I know that the ingredients are probably a little bit different. They are on every single foundation, but the way that this number seven acts on my skin is just like the NARS Radiant. And I think that I like it better as far as its longevity. And this product right here says that it has anti-aging ingredients in it, which I think is fantastic for anybody that has mature skin. So I can put this on at the beginning of the day and I will be washing it off. It won't have just faded off during the day. I'll be washing it off at night. And the coverage is so good. And it's not a matte foundation that's going to make my skin look drier and have, you know, my pores show up, my wrinkles, my mature skin, you know, look worse. It is definitely one that is laying pretty on my skin. It's giving that nourishing effect to my skin throughout the day. So I'm so glad you guys told me about that. I said thank you when I put it in my favorites video. I'm going to say thank you again because it is that good of a foundation and I feel like it is a dupe for the NARS Radiant. Not very long ago, I told you guys about this Becca highlighter that I fell in love with the very first time that I used it and I have continued to love it but I wanted to find an affordable option for you because these can get pretty pricey this is called the pearl glow luster glow powder and this is in pure pearl and it's not the same as these ones that are the shimmering skin perfectors these ones you can really pick up a lot when you go in there with your finger whereas this one is a little bit firmer of a product. I fell in love with this powder mostly because I have mature skin. And when we use highlighters, they can have a tendency to really show up texture. And this one doesn't do that at all. It just shows a pretty, pretty glow. So I was on the hunt immediately because I know that this can be a pricey number for you guys. And when I was looking through my stash, I found this one from Wet n Wild. This is the Mega Glow Powder Highlighter in Blossom Glow. Okay, so here's what the difference is in these two products. They are identical colors and they give the identical amount of glow, but you have to go really light-handed on the Mega Glow one from, from Wet n Wild, excuse me. But when you get it on your cheeks, you're gonna have the same exact color, the same exact type of glow, as long as you just go easy with it and sheer it out. So there's the Wet n Wild one right there and there's the Becca one right there. Can you tell any difference? I can't at all. And if you want to, you can build it up as much as you want to. They can be just gorgeous beaming highlighters if you want them to. But my favorite part of them was that they didn't show texture and I could just do a natural glow from within type look without being, you know, moonbeam or disco ball looking. So for oil absorbing for the longest time, my favorite was the It Bye Bye Pores Pressed Powder. 
it has this quality of being able to just make your skin look perfected and your pores look smaller and diffused without getting cakey or anything like that. So if you have oily skin, you might really, really love this. It is a clear powder. I feel like it's not super drying. If you do have dry skin, you're probably not going to like this the best because it does keep you mattified and take care of those pores at the same time. But again, the It Bye Bye pores can be a little bit costly. But e.l.f. came out with their pressed powder. This is the Perfect Finish HD powder. And you guys, I feel like this is almost just an identical dupe of it. It feels the same. It it acts the same. It has that same creaminess when I'm rubbing my fingers together. It does have a, quite a bit wider, whiter of a look to it in the pan there, but on your face, there's really no difference. I have not noticed that this has any flashback. I get asked that a lot. I haven't noticed that either one of these do. I don't have a tendency to use a lot of flash, so I apologize if you find that it does, but I haven't noticed that at all. And I feel like this is an absolute dupe for the uh, Bye Bye Pores pressed powder and have used that for a couple of years now and love it. Another powder that I wanna talk about is the Laura Mercier Loose Setting Powder. This is such a beautiful powder. Everybody was going crazy for it there for a while. There was like no other powder in the whole wide world that could take its place and everybody was using it and it is their translucent powder and again this powder is so finely milled and it just perfects your pores and it's just a beautiful beautiful powder on the skin and there's a reason why everybody loves it so much it's because it just has that tendency to never look cakey and never look like you have a powder on your skin and i love it but i wholeheartedly feel that the fit me from Maybelline, their loose powder, is a dupe for that. It has that same texture to it, to where when you put it on, you don't feel like you're gonna get cakey from it. It just feels silky. It is just so smooth and just so pretty on the skin. And when I put it on, you know, I never feel like I'm getting cakey or it's settling into lines or anything like that. I love this powder. I think it's such a fantastic powder and I absolutely think it's a dupe for the Laura Mercier one. All right, on to a lip product. One of my favorite lip stick formulas ever is the Urban Decay Vice formula and I love this color Rapture. It's just such a pretty like medium toned, nude, deeper nude pink color. I just think it's so gorgeous. It's that rose color without being like too pink and I just love it. And this is a cream formula and it's one that I have reached for so many times, but recently I got Rose Embrace from Maybelline. I believe this is one of their new shades. And when I put it up there, I was like, oh baby, that is just as close and it is just spot on. And even the formula, this Rose Embrace is a tiny bit more matte I should say it's satin, it's not matte. So this is more of a satin, whereas the Rapture from the Vice Lipsticks from Urban Decay is just a little bit more creamy. So this one actually lasts longer on me and I don't think you can tell a difference really when you get it on your lips, There, there's no difference. Plus the warmth of your lips will warm up the Maybelline one if you do like the creamier and you're gonna have a creamy lipstick anyway. So love that love the formula of the maybelline think it's every bit as good if not better than the one that i got from urban decay so love those another highlighter that everybody went bazonkers for <laughs> is the amrezy highlighter from anastasia beverly hills now this has been discontinued now but this was so pretty and the reason that it was so loved is because it didn't matter what skin tone you were you can wear this it is a really light like champagne gold color and it is just so stunning on the skin it's one of those that you can put on um, if you have a light skin tone you can really go lightly with it if you have a deeper skin tone you can really deepen it up and again it has that quality of having absolutely no sparkle just a whole lot of shimmer and a whole lot of glow and i just think it is absolutely gorgeous soft buttery formula that I love dipping my brush into because I know that it's again not going to show any texture and I have been on the hunt for a dupe for that for I can't tell you how long since it came out because I bought it pretty soon after it came out think I finally found it you guys so this is from flower beauty and this is their trio highlighter and this color right here 
I think is a very dead on dupe for the Amrezy highlighter. And I'm gonna put it right here next to it so you guys can see. And those two colors are the most beautiful champagne -y gold colors together. And I don't think there's any way that you could ever tell a difference of them, especially on the cheeks. If one was on one cheek and the other was on the other, there would be no way to ever tell. So the nice thing about this is that not only was, is it much more cost effective, you can still get your hands on it, but you also get these two over here, which are so pretty. This is a super light pinky glow, and this is a super light, um, almost like a pearlescent glow over here on the highlighters. So I absolutely love it. So if we're talking about by this, not that, I would absolutely say that. Plus the fact that you can't really get your hands on this anymore, that kind of adds into it too, but really a good dupe there. All right, and speaking about a cult favorite, we have to talk about the It Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer. Now you either love this stuff or you absolutely hate it. And if you don't, if you don't like it, you know what I'm talking about. When you have dry, mature, crepey under eyes, you have a tendency to get creasing. Okay, this is one that's going to give you the coverage that you need, but it's very, very emollient for dry skin. So a lot of people were finding that when they used it, it was creasing because they used way too much. And you know, you guys, I think at any age when you use an emollient conce concealer, actually any concealer, you're going to get a certain amount of creasing. I don't know that I have ever found a concealer that didn't crease a little bit on me. I have a lot of expression in my face and I continue to smile and I just, you know, I don't like to set my under eyes because of how cakey they are, but I love this product because of how well it covers. I have those deep, dark, hereditary dark circles under my eyes. And then I have the crepiness and the dryness from, you know, having mature skin. So this one just seems to work so good for me. But again, the tube is a little bit expensive. I did a video a while ago. I don't remember how long ago it was, but I'll make sure I, I link it for you where I actually used this product from Revolution Pro, Makeup Revolution. This is the Ultimate Coverage Crease Proof Concealer. Now, I think personally that this one covers just a little bit better than the IT Cosmetics one. They are the exact same consistency. So if you didn't like this one from IT and how really creamy and thick it is, because this is a very thick product, you're not gonna like this one either. But I really found that the key to taking care of my under eyes and not having that problem is just the teeny tiniest amount that you could possibly use on this. It is an exact dupe for it, you guys. I am not kidding. The way that it acts on your skin, the way that it covers, the the how emollient it is, and that it is not super drying, it is the exact same product. And so I would absolutely say, if you've been wanting to try the IT, but you thought, well, I can't really afford it, and you hear everybody rave about it, this one is just as good. And so buy this, not that, especially if you have dry, mature, crepey under eyes, and you've been wondering about it. And I'm gonna link that video full of 10 tips that will help you avoid creasing and help you avoid having that cakey under eye look. All right, another lipstick that I absolutely love from, this one is from MAC, and this is Angel. And I think this lipstick is so pretty. It's a very pink lipstick. It has a little bit of peach in it, but honestly, it really leans towards the blue side of being a pink lipstick. But it has a cream formula, which I love. And I just really think it's one of my favorites that I've ever gotten from MAC. But I also believe that this one is just as good, if not better. Romantic Rose is one that I recently got my hands on as well from Maybelline. And honestly, you guys, I feel like I think I like the romantic rose a little bit more the reason is is because I think the Maybelline one is just a little bit more opaque and the angel one is just a little bit more sheer from Mac I really do think that the romantic rose is going to take over for me for angel even though I love the formula I think I like the romantic rose or the Maybelline formula just a little bit more than I do the Mac and yeah if you can spend about five dollars as compared to about 19 why wouldn't you, right? And that is it, you guys. That is my last dupe for this video. Like I said, I am rounding up my greatest hits of my 
dupes videos or my cheaper and better videos and I'm going to be bringing you those so you guys can see them because so many of them are quite older and I wanted to really update them for you guys. And you know what? Before we go, you guys, I bet you could really give me some great dupes. So I would love in the comment section if you guys would go ahead and give me some dupes of what you found that you like that works better than the high-end stuff that you had before. I'd love that. That's always fun for me to hear from you guys. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you like seeing dupes video, please give me a thumbs up. I really do appreciate that. If you're new to my channel, I would love if you would consider subscribing. We'd like to have you here as a part of our YouTube family. This is an amazing bunch of people here and I'm telling you, we just get along well and there's no drama, which I love about this channel. So everyone, please take care of yourselves. Be happy, be healthy, and I will see you all in my very next video. Take care. Bye-bye. Love ya.